What's up guys, Ruxin34 back with another epic opening. We have another Rage of Raw box and we're going to be opening this up in a battle versus rhyme style. He texted me and said, Wow. Yeah, he needs to pull a ghost so he's going to battle me. Yeah, it's just, it's just a meme at this point because we're opening one box and I guarantee that it's going to give him the luck. Like, it's just literally, if I open against someone else, they're going to pull a ghost rare. So he has the, he's pulled the ghost rare, essentially, by battling me. So we have to pull a ghost to even tie. So I'm already chalking this one up as a loss, but I'm hopeful that we will maybe pull the ghost rare raw. Oh, I'm cutting this open. I forgot to show you guys the giveaway. The giveaway, we're going to be giving up um, away four cards from this set. White or a Bahamut. We've got the Mechlord Triskelion. We have a few of those. Guardian Slime and the Jinzo, the Machine Menace. These are all cards I pulled from my openings of Rage of Raw. What is going on with my focus recently? All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, and let me know who you think will win. Yeah, we know Rhyme's going to pull the ghost, so basically you have to say we either tie or I lose. That's that's pretty much the right answer, but if you guys believe in me that I can pull like double ghost or something, I, I, I appreciate it. I respect you. But yeah, um, we are battling Rhyme, and Rhyme be has beaten us every single time. He pulled 10,000 Dragon last time. He's... I mean, he just pulls fire every time. I, I think I think we got close once. We had like a tie almost. But he just had slightly better boxes. But we're going to try and pull the Ghost Rare. The main goal here is to pull a Ghost Rare and make it a tie. Because I just have a feeling that we're going to need it. Okay, Infinity Core. Mount of the Bound Creator. Because my battle luck, I haven't won a battle in, in weeks. I'm like the... What's the worst team in, in, in the NFL or in the NBA? I'm like the... The Phoenix Sun. No, they turned out to be actually pretty good. Who was good? Who was bad in basketball? The Knicks. I'm like the New York Knicks when it comes to battles. That's what it is. Yeah, it, it's not good. We're like the New York Knicks out here. The Knicks are just awful. They lose every single time. That's pretty much us here. You know, we go out there, we try, we try to win, and what happens is we just lose. We just get killed. We 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 face the best players and they just beat us every single time. So, um, yeah, I just. It's not good at this point, but we just got to believe that we can come back, that we can start a run, because we're going to need some big luck to maybe get a win one day. There's an Obligato. These booster boxes so far have not been too kind to us. We pulled the Guardian, or the, uh, not the Guardian Slime, the Egyptian God Slime once. We haven't pulled the Raw. There's a Jinzo of the Machine Menace. That's pretty cool. One we're giving away. So that is cool that we have pulled a Raw, but... Or we haven't pulled a raw. We pulled Jinzo. We've pulled Egyptian God Slime. We haven't pulled the alternate art raw or the ghost draw. So we're looking to pull those. We haven't pulled whatever the other short printing card is. I can't remember. But overall, the value in the set is way low. Yeah, it's not good, guys. It is really bad. But it is Legendary Duelist. That's, that's, it is a little bit unusual because Legendary Duelist usually have some pretty strong cards. But in this one, we have the raw, which is high value. It's about 300 bucks. And then you go all the way down. I think second most is the Egyptian God Slime, which is 23 bucks as of the last time I saw. Which is not very much. I mean, $23 as the second most valuable card. And then the other ultras like Jinzo. Okay, this one's like under a dollar. I know that. Jinzo is like a dollar fifty, two bucks, something like that. That one's not too good either, you know. Okay, what what is happening here? Alright. We just need to pull the ghost rare, guys. That's what it comes down to. We need to pull the ghost rare. That is our main goal here to beat Rhyme Style and pull a ghost rare and, you know, give him the luck, which is basically what we're doing. All right. 36 packs in here. I mean, that's a lot of packs. That is a lot of packs to pull, um, hopefully, a ghost rare. Maybe. Maybe. Can we pull it? Rage of Raw. Let me know. I, a lot of you guys have told me what you think about this set, which is that you don't like it. But, uh, I mean, I don't love the set, obviously. I mean, the set's not great. I do really like some of the cards. I like the Genzo card. I like the slime cards. I think they're cool. I think that, uh, like, obviously, Ghost Rare Raw is incredible. I think that's super cool. There's a Genzo. So, I mean, I like the idea of it. Um, as a, probably as, like, a player or somebody who's looking for really good cards, this is not a good set. You know, there's just not too many great cards in it. But there is a Ghost Rare of a, an Egyptian God card, which is super cool. I mean, that is really awesome. And it's the first time they've had a Ghost Rare in five years. That makes it really cool. Blaze Cannon, that's a pretty decent Ultra. I think it's a few dollars at least. 
So that is cool. And then, you know, some Jinzo and some slime. I mean, they've never even, like, done these, like, the Egyptian god slime. I mean, that's just super cool to see. The obelisk slime version. I mean, it's just really cool that that's a card. So I think the set has gotten a lot of hate. I think, I think it's not too bad. I think it's pretty cool. In terms of just overall, not just playability. You know, if you go by only playability, a lot of sets are not good. Like, LOB is terrible. But, uh... It's kind of cool when it comes to collectability. That's the thing with Legend or Duelist. They're just a little bit weird. The sets are weird. There's some cool stuff in them. There's some weird stuff. Ancient Chant. Oh, this is one of the shorter printed ones. Okay, this is one of the better cards. So we did get Ancient Chant. First time I've pulled this one, so that's nice. To pull a new card, Ancient Chant. Okay, come on. You can add Winged Dragon of Raw from your deck or your graveyard to your hand. That's pretty crazy, actually. And then you can tribute in addition to your normal summon. That's pretty sweet. No wonder that card's short printed. That seems like, well, I mean, it'd be good with Wing Dragon of Raw, which I'm sure is not good. <laughs> but it could be good. Yeah, if, uh, if, if, if Egyptian God cards or Wing Dragon of Raw became, like, really powerful, that would be kind of funny, actually. It would, I mean, it would make sense with the show, but not like the show has been totally accurate when it comes to it. Okay. Alright. I think we might open a second box in this video. Because I have one more box. By the Oh, by the way. My case and my other mail that is supposed to have a bunch of stuff for videos is just... It's in transit. Just sitting there. The big box with a lot of cool stuff in it is has been in transit for four days now. Just I hope it's not lost. That's all I can say. Because it has a lot of epic stuff in it. And I really hope it gets here so we can... Record those videos, and then obviously I don't want to record Rage of Raw every day. So I'm really hoping that that shows up so we don't have to record Rage of Raw every day. Because right now, all I have is Rage of Raw. So that's, I mean, obviously that will get boring. And I don't want to overload it too much, guys. This is three three days in a row. So Guardian Slime. It is a new set, though. So it's going to be fun for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But obviously don't want to overkill it. All right, here we go. Yeah, those other videos are going to be sweet. Those are going to be nice videos leading into the 20,000 subscriber special, which I haven't mentioned yet, but yes, subscribe for that. It's going to be really, really cool. And of course, use my TCG Player and eBay affiliate links. I have not plugged those yet. Appreciate when you guys use those. Very helpful. I know some of you guys use them a lot, which is, I really, really appreciate it. Sun God Unification. There we go. Super rare. All right, can we get the ghost, or are we gonna have to try a second box, which will not be included in the in the uh, battle versus rhyme style? The first box only. One box is against rhyme style. We're gonna, we might open a second one, you know, just to. Ooh, blaze cannon again. Cool, a double. Just to have a chance. I don't want to. I don't want to, you know, do one box every video. You know what I mean? Because then I'll just have too many one box videos, and that just gets old. So let's just get it over with in this video. Go ahead and pull the ghost, Jerry. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Could be cool. That would be very cool, actually. All right. All right. Not looking too promising in this one. It might come down to the final box to see if we can pull it. Mechlord Assembly. Super rare. Two more packs. Do you guys believe we can do it? Do you believe we can do it? I'm not I'm not believing. That's probably the problem. I don't believe we can do it. Okay, I believe we can do it. Here we go. Here we go. All right, I believe this is it. This is the ghost rare. Final pack. Here we go. Nope. All right, maybe I was believing in the next box. So let's try the next box. Here we go. Box number two, Rage of Raw. This is my last loose box before the case. The case is also not here. So it showed up a little bit late as well. So all my stuff... Is getting delayed. I haven't had too many problems with COVID shipping, but starting to. So I, I was going to knock on wood, but it's already, I've already had a problem, so I can't really jinx it. <laughs> Hopefully this stuff will show up on Monday. I'm praying that our openings can continue. We can do some epic stuff next week. I want next week to be epic. I, it was going to be like all kinds of stuff next week, but... Yeah, it didn't show up. So this, this box does not count towards the battle, but it's just to make the video... Hopefully you have a ghost right here. we go. Here we go. Can we pull it? This will be our sixth box of Rage of Raw. No ghost rare. They're about 1 in 12 boxes most of the time. Usually. But there's about 1 in one every 10 cases does not have a ghost rare. It's possible that we could be on that one. Law of the Cosmos. Okay. We're going to open from both sides this time. We're going to change up the mojo. 
We're going to see if Ghost Rare can be pulled. Yeah, we're not going to kill this set like we did with uh, Battles of Legend. The thing about Battles of Legend, there was two chase cards. You know, the, one of the chase cards was a thousand something dollars. So that's just like something Yu-Gi-Oh! has never seen is a one thousand something dollar card to pull like right upon release. So that was just made that really fun and really exciting. We're not going to go crazy like that in with Rage of Raw because there's only one chase card and it it's you know a $300 card which is really good you know for a new set but and I don't need to pull like both chase cards because there's only one so hopefully we'll be able to pull it Makira we've pulled like one super out of this box so far so I'd be cool to get the ghost it would be really cool It'd be really cool Necklord Emperor Weisel yeah but uh, it might not happen so we're gonna try and do it we're gonna do our best there is the true name. We didn't pull that last time. We didn't pull Gaskelion for the first time. I'm sure we'll pull it in this box. Okay. Chaos Infinity. Yeah. So this set is fun. I'll give it I'll give it that. It's pretty fun. But yeah. As you guys have said, it's not the best set. Not the best set. I, d I am so pretty excited about it. I mean I can't I can't wait for Obelisk and Slifer as well. I think they're gonna be cool. We'll see what they do. We'll see what kind of stuff they put them in. If they have just another legendary duelist. I don't know what they would do, though, because, like, Merrick uses... I mean, well, are they going to do another Kaiba? What do you guys think? Do you guys think they're going to do a legendary duelist Kaiba with a Ghost or Obelisk? Okay, okay, imagine if they did this. Legendary duelist Kaiba. They got Ghost or Obelisk. Oh, there's another Jinzo. That's cool. They've got, like, Ultimate Rare Blue... Like, they bring Ultimate Rares back. They got a Blue Eyes in there. They've got... Uh, it would be really cool... I know this would, okay, this would be cool for me. It would be kind of irrelevant. If they did, like, ultimate rares of, like, stuff that he used, like, well, what is that card called? It's called, it's at, like, 1700 monsters, like, Battle Ox and stuff. If they had, like, a Battle Ox or a Rabid Horseman, like, that were, like, high rarity. I mean, just stuff like that. He taught to me giant super rare, you know, just some crazy stuff. That would be that would be interesting to see. It would be completely worthless for the players, so it wouldn't make any sense to actually do it. I think it would be kind of cool to see that. You know, straight on nostalgia. Um, you know, rarities and stuff. Ghost or Obelisk is going to be super cool, though. That is going to be super cool. Slifer is going to be crazy. Is that going to be Yugi again? Like, what's going to happen there? We're going to do Legendary Duelist Yugi last time. We already did, and it had, you know, Magician Souls and stuff. Imagine if that, okay, if they just thrown in a Ghost Rare into that set, or into the, there's a Bahamut, or into the Kaiba set, those are both super good sets. Like, people would have been really, like, really hyped about those. Because you could not only get, you know, a collectible card, you can get Sun God Unification. You can get really strong meta cards, too, so, or, like, pretty strong meta cards. I know Magician Souls is, like, 100 bucks, so that's definitely a good one. Okay, Engine's a Returner. All right, okay, what is going on here? Oh, it's not holding it back because we're doing both at the same time. I see. All right, guys, do you believe we can do this in the second box? I don't know. It's not looking too good. Mechlord Assembly, we got to believe. If not, we always ha will have to default to the case, and then somehow our case will be the 1 in 10 that doesn't have a ghost. Unless, unless uh, um, I send somebody, you know, some of the boxes to battle, then they'll pull it. Okay. Here we go. It's a returner. All right. All right. Where's the luck? Here we go. Ancient Chant again. So we got double Ancient Chant. That's actually pretty good. That is pretty good. I don't really know the value on this one because we haven't pulled it yet, so I've never looked it up. Ancient Chant. We now pull two of them in one video, so that's not bad. One of the three short printing cards. I think it's three. I don't know what the other one is besides Egyptian God Slime. I mean, obviously Ghost Rare Raw, but we're not talking about that one. Ultra Rares. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, let's get these out. This is getting crazy. Wow. If they, <laughs> this is in the last few packs, that'd be pretty crazy. We haven't had last pack magic in a, in a few videos, so let's see if we can do it here. Whew. Blaze Cannon, nice ultra rare. Pull like three of these in this video, a playset. Overall, the pulls have been pretty decent in terms of 
the valuable ones and pull some decent ones. Here we go. Infinity Core. Alright. Shredding through these packs. Token Sunday. Alright, we're getting down to the nitty gritty to the end of the opening. Can we pull some fire, guys? Can we get a last few pack magic? That'd be pretty crazy. Oh my goodness. What happened here? Jinzo Lord. Okay. Alright. Three packs left. Three more chances at Raw than these six boxes for my locals. They have not come through right here. They did come through with the 10,000 Dragon, though. That got a 10, so I can't complain. I've been supporting the crap out of them with all the money I've spent there recently. Okay, there we go. Final pack, guys. Do you believe we can do it? Let's do this. Come on. Give us something good. Genzo. Lord Emperor Grinnell. Token Sunday. Guardian Slime. All right, we got an old Terrera in the last pack. No ghost. Okay, we're going to have to continue searching. Maybe we'll just open up the case, you know, and we'll get it over with. And, I mean, we might pull it. We might not. You know, there's only a 90% chance, which is a good chance, that's for sure. But we didn't get it this time. Let's see what we did get. We're just going to go over the Ultras because the Supers are super cheap, guys. Guess what I did? They're super, super. Yeah. yeah that was fun. Okay. All right, so we pulled... Two Guardian Slimes, two Genzos, two Blaze, three Blaze Cannons, and two Ancient Chants. So not a variety in the Ultras. Oh wait, no, no, no. We did we pulled some others. I think I just maybe stuck them down here. I only sleeved up the good ones. That's why. Those were the good ones we pulled. We pulled two Bahamuts and one the True Name. So there we go. That is what we pulled in the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys go check out Rhyme Style's video. He probably pulled the Ghost Rare. Let's be honest. So you'll at least get to see one Ghost Rare pulled. You know, because we didn't pull it here but maybe next time. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Peace. Oh! Elemental Hero, Dark Bright. Boom!